And this story just in from Frankfurt developing there as we speak a U-Haul trailer full of signatures. Not a sight you often see in Frankfurt, but those looking to impeach Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir made the delivery moments ago in an effort to boost their case. WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams has the late breaking details. They insist the 60,000 signatures help prove their point. The dozens of boxes are now inside the Capitol on their way to Republican representatives on the impeachment committee. These boxes are being taken to the House clerk, who's supposed to deliver them to the committee members. Petitioners claim Governor Andy Bashir violated the Constitution with his pandemic executive orders regarding travel and church services. While they've been filing arguments with the committee, they've also collected these signatures. We have reports showing that, the Kentucky, that through the Kentucky treasurer, that the governor knew they were unconstitutional, but he went ahead and he did it anyway, and such knowing disregard for our Constitution should warrant removal from office. What do you say to those people who think that you're off base, that you shouldn't do this, that they see the flags across the way, and they say Kentuckians have paid a toll in deaths and that what you're doing is not constructive? Last week, a, not, a parent reached out to Brood saying that their nine-year-old daughter is in the hospital on suicide watch because of these lockdowns to where it's led to a mental health crisis like we've never seen before. The lockdowns are killing people as well. The governor's not saving lives. He's trading lives. The owner of Brood, a coffee shop in Lexington, is one of the main petitioners behind this effort. He said it cost $5,000 to print off these signatures. If he loses his effort to impeach the governor, it'll cost him even more. That's because committee members voted to bill anyone filing a petition if that petition fails to move all the way through the process. At the Capitol, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.